Hey everybody, I got my cheese stick. So, come there. Purposely do my hair for you for the V log. Yeah, I know what you're thinking about the V. Cheese. It's very cheesy. Rappaport, you're cheesing it up, which is good, you know, for cheese. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Today's Sunday. Last night, or early this morning, so kind of still Sunday, I hurled, not puked, but hanged out, hung out, hung, hanging out in real life with Birthday Girl Bronwyn McGuckin, and Brian McDonald, and Marsha Reed. You can find them all on Plus. They're awesome. And I actually did a hangout conversation with Brian, and Bronwyn wants to know when I'm going to have her own. Anyway, so we had some chicken, we did some karaoke, there was some video and picture evidence on my page and on Google Plus, and I will be putting up more pictures and videos and some epic songs. I do need to tear through the legends uh, after post karaoke, which is a page I have where I sing songs well and funny and other. So what time do they get home? Four o'clock, five no, seven o'clock in the morning. Yes. Not because I meant to. We were done at like, I don't know, 10 to 4. And the MTA, thank you, New York City MTA. I'm just saying, my next railroad train was 519. It was 10 to 4. I said, all right, I'll take the 7 train to Flushing and then take the bus. Well, I got to the 7 train and said, oops, police investigation at 103rd Street. So we're going to close from, from like Queensboro Plaza all the way till. To Flushing, but I didn't know that. I thought, oh, maybe there's a chance I go to Queensboro Plaza. And most of you are not from New York, so you're like, what, where, who? Uh, it's by where the Mets play. Anyway, so I was walk. I walked here. I walked there. You know, we, were, we. I, I took. I took it like a third of the way using another train, and then I was stuck. And then I walked somewhere else. And I took another train, and then I walked somewhere else. And then I waited, and then I took another train and took a cab, and then the seven o'clock, and then I went to bed. So there it is. What up? You ever had any metro issues? Uh, you know when you're like what it's like late at night and there's no construction or anything what's going on anyway I digress did you watch Obama's White House correspondence dinner and Jimmy Kimmel I didn't see some pieces of Obama talking and make fun of Romney uh, showing the dog attack ad was it funny is it worth watching what are some of the funniest bits do you care did you care I care I'm still eating the cheese you're like grab for it down the cheese all right Oh, so my, it was down. <laughs> Minnie's like, where's my cheese? That's my dog. <laughs> Minnie, I'll give you the cheese. Just hold on. And you're like, cheese, don't give your dog cheese. <laughs> All right, shh, I'll do whatever I damn well please. No, I don't give her a lot. Um, Sunday, so, or, it's TV night, but before we get into that, Jane Allen, my co-host on the Plus Payment Show, we're doing a show tomorrow night with Mikowski, and it, that's just craziness. And she is actually my guest on Thursday night on Kyle Conversations, so I'm going to go deep inside the Jane Ellen and uh, my, this phone. I have a landline. I was That's a long story. Like, why? Uh, it's usually, do you have people calling you? Like, uh, Cable throws in the, the home phone, which we didn't have. And they're like, oh, yeah, great home phone. But they're just like, hey, you want to buy this? 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 No, no, no. Leave me alone. So that's pretty annoying. It doesn't matter if you're on a do not call us in the mobile phone. As I put that back, you know, has it as you do. Yes, I have an iPhone. Don't hate me. Um, so tell me about that. Yeah, Jane Allen. Like I was saying, she's going to be my guest. It's Jane Allen week for me. And Sunday Night TV. This four minutes. We're, we're popping up there. Sunday Night Game of Thrones. I did not watch last week's. I have to watch last week's. Get ready for this week's. Then I have uh, I, Peter Dinklage. Gotta love him. Uh, and then I got The Killing, which I don't know if any of you watch. I like it. Recommend it, even though people were pissed. And then Girls is really good. Uh, Lena Dunham. It's uh, I mean, uh, I could jump in there and do a little writing. A little Anyway, we'll see what happens. And Veep. I watched the first episode. Maybe I didn't give it a fair shake. I'll watch again. It, it had bits of humor, but it wasn't like laughing out loud funny for me personally. And Mad Men, uh, I catch here and there. So I don't know Mad Mondays, uh, Airbnb No Mirror, and... P.E. Sharp, do that every week, I believe, yeah, on Monday, so check that out if uh, at some point, and uh, I think that's about it. I have some notes. I, I'm glad to get notes, because I'm so tired, and something about space, and 
something about space. I don't know. I do know that I need more coffee. As you can tell, I usually have a coffee cup, and uh, all I have is is, is water, and and, uh, and, uh, and the dog is barking. So five minutes. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I'm gonna talk over the dog a little bit longer, just to get out a little little growl, a little whatever. Uh, if you have any questions for me? Ask me questions. I shall tell no lies. And uh, check out the pictures and the videos and turning through the legends and hangout conversations and Plus Damon Show and Rappaport and Mad Mondays and Midlife Crisis and, and uh, Peter McDermott has some on-air stuff and Dan McDermott and the Brothers McDermott and the Brothers McDillon. And uh, if, you, if you go back in time on these videos, I talk about meeting the guy that did Brothers McDerm McDermott or whatever it was called, McMullen, uh, at Burns. I had a little story because I worked on a movie with Ed Burns. And uh, we had a little woo little interaction, you know, and I'm about to sneeze, so let's capture that sneeze, and then we'll say goodbye. Uh, it's coming. Anticlimactic. Can I get a rim shot? Prophylactic. It went away. Don't you hate it when it went away? That was so fake, Rappaport. Thank you.